here in New York City, and Sharon Gannon came up with all these recipes, all vegan, totally delicious and scrumptious, but now yeah, yeah. we're going to get to go interview her to figure out what messages she has for us. So let's go do that together. Yay! <laughs> Yow! have like a present day ashram right smack in the middle of New York City, Manhattan. So how did that happen? I, I need to know more about your, the roots, the roots and the wings. The wings I see, but I want to know the roots. Okay, Ooh. well, you know, something that's essential to yoga is to try to let go of the I, me, mine. Hmm. Like I did this, this is mine, my accomplishments. Um, and so that being said, it's really hard then for you to <laughs> ask me that question for me to start like rattling off. I did this, and then I did that, and then this <laughs> happened to me, and then, you know. So, I mean, the simple answer to that question is um, all glories to God. Hmm. You know, what can we do but become instruments for God's grace? And God's grace is goodness and kindness and inside of our own hearts God lives and so when we start to become instruments for God's will what we're actually doing is saying yes mm -hmm. to love to compassion to kindness to expansiveness um, I think ever since I was really little as far as I can remember back uh, I wanted to do whatever I could in my own small way to contribute to the happiness or well-being of others, mm -hmm. uh, other animals, other, uh, just the planet. Mm -hmm. And so that is just, you know, when you have that kind of intention, the universe kind of gives you the means to step into the next step, it seems. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. um, I think I've always felt like a kind of a, a challenge to our status quo culture, meaning that a challenge to the culture which says to us, the earth belongs to us. Mm -hmm. I can't accept that. Mm -hmm. The earth does not belong to us. We belong to the earth. Mm -hmm. We are part of this together with every other living being, and that includes other animals, trees, rivers, clouds, mm. all of life. So I found, here I get the eye again, <laughs> um, it was revealed to me, or I stumbled in my clumsy way, upon the yoga teachings. Mm. And the core to the yoga teachings as Patanjali in the Yoga Sutra gives, is that asana means relationship to the earth. Mm -hmm. So Patanjali says in the Yoga Sutra, your relationship to the earth should be mutually beneficial. Wow, mm. that turned me on. <laughs> and so I saw yoga is, uh, could be a perfect platform to express um, these, not just concepts, but actual living experience and project experiment that had to do with living your life in such a way that it wasn't self-centered, but that it could be mutually beneficial mm. for others, and including the earth. I mean, that's, that's a big, you know, <laughs> that's, that's, that's a big order, but it's doable. Why not? Why not go that big?